Alright everybody, how are we, what is going on and welcome back to another video. In today's video we're going to continue in the fashion we have been, uh, which is the, the fashion of teal and black, and that is uh, the Jacksonville Jaguars and, and more importantly Leonard Fournette. Big Leonard, one of my all time favourite players because of one moment guys, one moment basically. And that was when I first got recommended to react to Leonard Fournette, I remember a play and it must have been in his uh, rookie season. And, uh, you know, he comes comes out swinging out to the right and sees this defender coming up to him. I actually still don't know who it was. And, uh, you know, he was running at full force and this is 230 pounds, 6 foot 1. And he beckons the defender on. And uh, as soon as that happened, I got up off my chair, I believe. And um, couldn't believe what I'd just seen. Because in rugby, I had never ever seen anyone like beckon a defender on and then smash into them. So this is something I'd just seen in football. And, you know, it was Leonard Fournette, and lo and behold, it was his rookie season, and like, I thought, okay, this is the guy that I'm, I'm gonna make sure I follow throughout the whole entire season. Okay, my hair was getting a little out of control. We've put, we've put the OG hat back on. This is the one that I, I used in my previous reactions to the, um, the full-length matches. Now, Let's get into it. 31st of July 2019 by the Jacksonville Jaguars on their team YouTube channel. We have one-on-one -on -one with Leonard Fournette. Now Leonard Fournette I, I see as like a joker. You know what I mean? He's, he's, all, he's a larrikin. He's always joking around. He's always trying to make people laugh or, you know, putting on funny voices or making fun of people basically. He's very sarcastic I feel. But you know, this is going to show us a different side of him. This is going to show a serious side and we're actually going to hear him speak. I haven't really heard him speak that much, you know, not in a long form interview. So with that being said, let's enjoy one on one with Leonard Fournette. You good? You good? Yeah, oh here we go. Show you good man? Show him some. Show him some. Show him Show him some. Good job. Leonard here for your second annual youth football camp. Why New Orleans? Why do you feel like you have to come back to the city and do the camp here? Uh, most definitely, and especially this where I'm from, born and raised, and just giving the, the kids the opportunity to even much be around NFL, college football players. Uh, I know for myself growing up, never had the chance to. You know, a lot of guys didn't come back, so I figured why not this generation, you know, be the next step. It's a great thing to me, man. I, I love coming back to New Orleans, giving back, and I mean, it's home. Ah, oh, no. Get rid of get back with them down. What's up? What? Did you hear what he said? <laughs> I did not hear what he just said to see. Too good to talk to your dad? Oh. Hi, Larry. Ah, uh, yeah. Larry. Is it good to talk to your dad? I play a big role in their lives, you know. <laughs> Too good to talk to your dad. <laughs> That's the kind of shit that I'm going to have to deal with in a couple of years. No matter. The good or the bad, you know, I have to support him and the decision. So this is an actual Leonard Fournette football camp. So this is him being proactive and putting something together with his name. Now that he's in the NFL and he's got a marketable name. I mean, that's that's sick. How cool would that be to go to... I'd go right now and I'm fucking 29. I'm six years older than this guy. Five years older. Actually, probably like four years older. But I would literally turn up to that and be as excited as some of these little kids. And... Um, all I'm trying to say there is, is, is that the impact that this has on little kids like that is probably more than he even knows. I mean, for me, so for me at that age, it would have been incredible. Uh, I think that's one that's still to this day, one of the most challenging things is being a, being a father and uh, like trying to understand your kids, you know, so I think that's one of the most challenging things. They seem to have a lot of personality. Yeah. Similar to you. Yeah, yeah, they, yeah they're a lot different. Uh, I think lyrics more outgoing. Uh, my son, uh, you know, he's still young, but he's trying to figure out who he is, what personality he's, he's got, you know, so. See, that's basically the age that Tate's at at the moment. And my other daughter, Tristan, is like 18 months younger than her. So I'm thinking in about, well, she's about six months. So I'm thinking he's probably about two. So in 18 more months, my kids will literally be the exact age that his is. And when he said one of the most challenging things in life is um, understanding his kids, especially as, you know, they're so young, I can definitely relate with that because when they are so young and you can't really get, you know, too much feedback and too much communication from them, um, it's hard, man, especially for a first-time dad. You, you, well, I struggled. 
I struggled. But now that Tate is a little bit older and now that Tristan's coming through again, I can see certain things that Tristan does that I couldn't cope with before that I certainly can now. So, you know, experience will, will teach you everything you need to know. But, um, yeah, two small kids. He's got an NFL career to try and pursue, plus any other outside commitments, plus his family life. He's doing a good job. It's just, uh, it's funny seeing him grow up, you know, because my daughter, uh, she, she thinks she knows everything now. <laughs> it's just like full going on 20. Oh! So you look at last season, which was obviously disappointing for the Jaguars, mm -hmm. for you, 5-11. and 11. How did you still have one? Did that completely change your perspective on football being a fun game? Football is football. You know, uh, I put that season behind me. You know, uh, I think everyone learned from it. I think, I know for me, being around, uh, I think my team came back with a, a better attitude. Mm -hmm. You know, uh, last season woke us up, you know, coming in, you know, from the 17th season. Uh, first such, year, a, you know. such a beautiful sight seeing that. Leonard Fournette in full flight, ball tucked under his arm, swinging around, looking for a gap. Just love it. Well, kind of on the high horses. And that. I mean, who wouldn't? Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah, we're one of the youngest, team in, youngest teams in the NFL. And we did, we did, you know. So right now, uh, we're still re re evaluating ourselves as a team and uh, getting ready for uh, training camp when it comes. So you mentioned during OTAs how you wanted to go to Wyoming and get back to the basics of football. Yeah. See, I, sorry, I just have to go back to when I just saw Nick Foles turn around and give a toss to uh, Fournette. The toss play to the running back has got to be one of my favorite plays. It really does. It's the thing that's most similar to a, a, a rugby play, you know. Foles, he's the halfback, he's giving it to his first five, who then gives another lateral pass to his second five, and then another one to his to his centre, and then also another one out to his wing, which would, would most probably be a wide receiver. So I still would love to see that toss play, but then Leonard Fournette have someone outside of him, so Fournette comes up to the line, draws a defender, and then gives another toss out to another player. And I just have not seen that yet. When did you decide that, and why did you feel like that was important to get back to the basics? Oh, especially when I, uh, when I got... Or, okay, imagine this. Foles gives the toss out to Fournette. Fournette swings across, starts going up towards the line, brings all the defenders across that way, and then his wide receiver comes in and does a cut move. So Fournette would just, you know, pop the ball backwards to his wide receiver. Wide receiver has come behind Fournette and come piercing the defense that's already going that way. I don't know. I'm just having fun in my head just imagining plays, which is what happens a lot actually. Yeah, let's continue. I heard, you know, especially after the last game, you know, my mind was made up. You know what I mean? Uh, I, I didn't want to go where everybody, where everybody else was going to be at, you know, going club and partying. You know, just, man, like I said, back to the basics, you know, focusing on myself. You know, I'm tw 24. Okay, so yeah, this he's talking about how he went and trained uh, in his off season because he had a very disappointing 2018 season basically ruined by injuries, Jaguars didn't do too well, so he thought, fuck this, I'm not going to do what anyone else did, and go and train on his own, and that's respect. For now, so, what I don't know about myself, you know, I'm still growing as a man, you know what I mean, uh, everybody makes mistakes, you know, that's number one, nobody's perfect, and uh, we're learning something new every day. Our team fits us. Oh, that's you know the I mean? owner, we, isn't you know, it? We have Jalen, you know, he's like drama child on the team, <laughs> you know what I mean, but at the end of the day, a lot of people have things to say about him, but he makes our team... They, they really don't know us. Well, he's gone now, isn't he? Oh, oh yeah, get the cleave. Get the cleave. Show how we feeling in there. You know what I mean? It's like I make They're the beautiful. Awesome offensive side of the team. You know, I'm like, I'm more of the, the clowning type, you know, playing. You know, and like, we make, we make it look, we make it look good. You know what I mean? Especially with the old guys like Calais. You know, he's old school very much. And, um, you put it together, you know, you get the Jaguars. Mm -hmm. You know, a little, little bit of young and old. Leonard Fournette comes off of the field, and he's grabbing at his hamstring, took his gloves off, threw him down to the ground. He was in the medical tent just a moment ago. For you, the adversity you yourself faced last week with the hamstring injury, mm -hmm. just, I'm sure, nagging, annoying. I was just going to say that, annoying. What an annoying injury. You know what I mean? You, you just, you know when you've come back too soon. Put it that way. Annoying wanting to get back. What was that like when you knew everyone was counting on you and wanting to get back on the field, but you know your body yeah. better than anyone? Yeah, it was hard, you know, especially when I, I tried to come back before my time, especially in the Jets game, I heard it again. Mm -hmm. Oh, it's hard because you want to be out there competing with uh, your teammates, you know, 
the coaches, you know, and uh, like I said, a lot of people questioned me last year, you know, mm -hmm. my love for the game or whatever, you know what I mean? It is what it is, right. you know what I mean? I'm not, I don't worry about them, uh, what they have to say. You know, my job right now uh, is to come into the training camp healthy, in shape, uh, the right attitude, make sure I'm in the right space uh, to help my team. You know, we have got Nick Foles. Nick Foles is a, a great guy, you know, uh, he loves football. So is Chris, you know, Chris is smart and intelligent. So we're kind of putting the pieces together right now. You know, like was Doug said, we're taking it slow. And uh, I feel confident in this year. How crazy was it, sorry, how crazy was it that Foles got injured in like the first or second game and it was on the same play that he threw that absolute bomb of a touchdown pass. Like it was almost as if God said, okay, we're going to take you out for the season, but before we do, we're going to give you one last you know, thing to, I guess, make the fans still like you. That was pretty crazy. And that, my friend, Len Fournette in his shoes. What's this? When did this come out? Everybody has a, a purpose or a meaning behind them and what, they, what made them. You know, especially where I'm from. You know, it's so easy to get killed where I'm from. Damn, look at that street. It does look quite... I guess run down, doesn't it? October 7th, 2019. Okay, so this came out afterwards, after that last one. You know what? Let's watch it. We brought up different than a lot of people. And there's something you can't really explain, but... You know I mean, I think when they watch this, they understand. I am a product of my environment, you know? So, whatever you see in me or you look at me as, this is what this is. Now this 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 is the seven war right coming up. Born and raised. I still come into this day. And we got crawfish crawfish right here going right now. See what I mean? Ball and crawfish. The best of the best. You feel like it's changed a lot? Not the same. You know what I mean? You get love, same love I always I've always gotten. Uh same people live around here, you know what I mean? Neighborhood friends growing up with. Keep going. When I first started playing football, this church line right to the right. My first time picking somebody up and slamming them. My football career began right here. Man, that's how I'd be like if you took me through uh, Littleton, which is a port town in Canterbury, New Zealand. You know, we, we, should, we could go rolling through there and I'd, I'd show you all these spots of, you know, different memories. My first game, my first first kick, first athletics trophy at school, first swimming swimming trophy, you know. First rope swing, first building my first tree hut, all that kind of shit. Those are memories that are in here. Yeah, that's what life's about. First sight of Leonard, it was at the track meet, so I was at another school. I had heard the name, I heard all the accolades. Oh! You know, the buzz was. Oh, that's like LSU. Big kid that is graceful, and, and even though he's big, he, he runs like a gazelle. The newest Under Armour All American. Mr. Oh yeah, I've never Most seen this before. I don't understand what to be the number one player in the country. I know I've always been good at football. It just I never really got into the hype thing. But that's just who I am though. Once I left high school, and got into college, just everything was fast. As I continue my uh, coaching career. He's the most that I compare. I've got to say, one of the one of the things that I love the most about the game is times like that, okay? When the attacker literally grabs the defender by, you know, the chest guard or whatever, by his pad, by his helmet even, and slams him into the ground as he's running. That is so sick. Just like that. As I continue my uh, coaching career, He's the move that I compare. Now you can't really do that in rugby because there's nothing to grab onto to actually, you know, force them down. So. Body two. The Jacksonville Jaguars select Leonard Fournette, running back, LSU. Yeah. First of all, if you haven't walked in a person's shoes, you can't judge them. 
a lot of a lot of things. Stop, it's my cousin around. <laughs> See, I still, still being in the hood here now. It's my cousin, he got shot in the head. Yeah. What? You got shot in the head? That's cool. Bro, where is this, Louis? Uh, New Orleans. Yeah, everybody made their own choices. You know, my choice was to what's try to get my family from out the hood, uh, do what's best that I can do, and here I am. Shit, man. There were a lot of great players who didn't make it that I played with. I actually missed that. Do what's best that I can do. So my choice was to try to get my family from out the hood, uh, do what's best that I can do, and here I am. Doing alright, man. A lot of great players who didn't make it that I played with. Just the, the streets got a hold of them. So it's like even people in jail that I know, man. Like uh, their dreams, living through me. Uh, Something just came to mind. That Booga, Booga. They, they, he, he, he was always saying Booga, wasn't he? B U G A. I actually thought it was something to do with his eyes, but it's not. It stands for something. And I'm gonna try and rack my brain right now to try and remember it. And it's. Brothers United generates attitude. I think that's what it is. We may have that confirmed in this video. You know, they're praying for me every day, you know, and uh, I, I love that. You know what I mean? Because no matter, no matter what, the money or nothing, that could never compare to real love like that. That's why a lot of kids who play football and who's from New Orleans, you know, that's why they have that chip on their shoulder. It's Yannick for it! And here is It's nothing like coming in first place. I mean, it's so much respect that comes with it. The Jaguars are in the AFC Championship game for the first time. You don't play this game to be in second. Clock hits zero. It's just devastating, feeling so close. Yeah, one step away, no question about it. Yeah, it, it was hard. Yeah, it was hard, you know what I mean? Excuse me, you were in the AFC Championship game last year. This team is such a disappointment. When you're so used to, you're accustomed to winning or accustomed to anything in life, and when, when something happens, you know what I mean, it, it kind of hits you different. Leonard Fournette and Shaq Lawson have been ejected. Where's your pride? Where's your dignity? It definitely was tough, but all the negative stuff, those things are going to happen. You know, but you uh, learn from the things you did wrong and you improve on the things that you did right. But whatever is worse, you have to silence your critics. They're not seeing the full picture. They're seeing more the field, but they, they, they got to rid of no Lennon. Booger Nation. <laughs> BN, I just saw that around his neck. Must be Booger Nation. It doesn't matter what anybody says. That, that, that's what you Bro, I, I love Lennon Fournette. It's the first time I've seen his mum and dad's. So that's pretty cool. It's, it's how you react to them. I mean, people are going to say something regardless. Right. So, why feed into that negativity? People going to have an opinion regardless. That's what I was looking for. <laughs> <laughs> as much good, as much positivity he promotes, there's still a lot of negativity. It was shocking to hear him say, I'm going to Wyoming. Like, who goes to Wyoming to work out? You know what I mean? Having a discussion with him about getting away from it all. This will be good. This will be good. Let's see some training. Focus on Leonard. This is the best I've seen him. He's never looked this good as this from a, you know, his body. To realize that this is where I'm from. I went through it, but look at where I am today. My head goes off to, uh, I tip my head to his mom and his dad. They helped make Leonard to who he is today. And I know his mom will never let him forget family and love, because that's basically uh, that whole area, that's where it all comes from. Leonard is a, is a loving, caring, outgoing, fun person. What's up? 
I should be our number one customer, huh? Strawberry. <laughs> I don't know a person that has met Leonard that does not love Leonard. What's up, bro? And if you don't, that's because you don't know who he is. In every walk Looks like I picked a good one. Walk of life that he has walked, you know, the trail that he has uh, left behind, he will consider that family. I think family means, means everything. There are not a lot of two-parent households of kids that I coach. It says a lot about Leonard. He's a very, very loyal guy, and he's very, very loyal to his family. It's hard. It's hard to be a dad to him. I don't stay hard, but I stay hard on a girl because there's so much like me. Like this, yesterday, I couldn't find my kids. My sister took them to the restroom. I almost caught a damn heart attack. And my dad, my and my dad told him yesterday. He was like, "You did the same thing to me when you was young." <laughs> and I was, I was like, I was just thinking like, damn. He was like, man, it's funny how it comes around. Hell yeah, it is, man. It's, it's amazing. It's what life's it's about. Funny, it's the know, circle. They pick up your ways and you don't... It's like you don't have to teach them nothing. See, I like football. <laughs> <laughs> He's extremely, extremely loyal to his people from his hometown, where he grew up, who helped to bring him to where he is, who helped to raise him. He still have love for it, and he's still from there, and his heart will always be there. My kids will never have to hear gunshots. That, that's just the life I want to give them. I think he's trying to do what most of us try to do. Big league, exactly. As he goes through this NFL deal, this NFL world, this NFL life, I think he's trying hard as hell to leave his footprint in the sand. But the fantastic thing is for it's him already there, bro. to be able to say, I've got the platform. The little things come. You know, so it's not what the world see. I'd rather do good for my heart than try to put on and let the world see, you know, I'm doing this for someone reaching every day. At the end of the day, you know, I try to I'm just looking at the background every time I see this shot, which is an amazing shot by the way. Um, you know, it's obviously like a local football field, he's got the They've just pulled over like a seat for him to sit on, but if you look in the background, it's, it's just, it's so close to these houses and they're all quite run down. And I'm just thinking, if you were kids like in any of these houses surrounding this football field, you'd be there. That's, football would have been life, you know? You just jump over the fence and you're there with all your friends, running around, acting like, you know, who would he have been acting like he was? He'd, he'd be saying, I'm Emmett Smith or um, Deion Sanders or shit. He might've even said, I'm Tom Brady. Tom Brady's that old. <laughs> but yeah, I mean, it's a sick shot. I mean, I just I just love the way that it's set up. I'm sure there'd be a shitload of memories for him there. Best that I can be, you know, and not to be fake, to be white. And they've even got half of a net that obviously gets strung up behind the posts to stop the field goals from hitting the house. <laughs> but it's, uh, I don't know, it's seen better days, it looks like. I am. Hmm. You're always going to have that part of your roots. They're connected, you know, said more than him. You know, I'm, I'm just who I am. I keep it real 24 7. My man. That's all you got to do, man. Just be yourself. Keep it real. No one can say shit. Some will love you, some will hate you. Bro, take them gloves. Look at this. Look at this. Put them in. Look at them. Take them glasses off, dude. <laughs> yeah, well, we were young to come right here, catch the roosters and the chickens. I don't know if I still got it, but I'm gonna test, I'm gonna test myself out one day. What kind of dogs are those? I don't much know. He's uh. Catching chickens would be pretty good practice, wouldn't it? Especially for being on defense. If you're a cornerback trying to practice covering a, a uh, wide receiver. Turning this way, turning that way, turning this way, reacting to everything that the chicken did. That's not going on, what is that? Yeah, it must be a rich man's sport. Nah, I, I think what I know. Water, uh, only, I'm only kind of big on that when I take baths. <laughs> I can swim too. I'm probably one of the best swimmers on, the best swimmers on our team. Really? 
I know. Quincy cannot see me. The linebacker? He can't see me. All I do, I don't want to talk on the phone, I don't want to text, it's FaceTime. What is that? I don't know, I think God made it just for me. <laughs> Maybe I should start doing that more often. Uh, next one on the list is Jalen Ramsey, but I'll tell you what, um, get fucked. <laughs> Jalen Ramsey's gone to the Rams now. Sorry, mate. Anyways, guys, that was video number one for Leonard Fournette for the day. That was basically a video that I've needed to do for a long time, even just for myself. So in the following three, we're going to be looking at Leonard Fournette's uh, highlights against the Broncos, against the Jets, and then the final video is uh, a film study on Fournette. So with all that being said, I am going to go now. I've taken up too much of your time already. If you are a Fournette fan or a Jags fan, you most probably are. If you've made it to the end of this video, I want to say thank you for being here. I want to say, you know, go Jags. Next year, I'm still backing them. Okay, so any Jags fans here, I know UCF Jaguar will be here somewhere. You might have actually clicked off the video by now, but I'm a Jags fan. I'm going to be a Jags fan. You, you, you hear of people talking about the, the team that they've backed for the last 10, 20 years, or whatever. They've always got a little story as to why they started backing that team. And, um, you know, my story goes back to when I first started doing these reactions, and I did my reaction on Leonard Fournette, and it was the one that he beckoned on that defender, and I absolutely had an amazing time. And uh, the Jacksonville Jaguars happened to find it and they actually reached out to me and said, look, if you enjoyed Leonard Fournette so much, uh, why don't you go and watch Jalen Ramsey and do a reaction on him? And that's exactly what I did. But following that day, they actually started to follow me on Instagram and I've sent them a few messages. And I do believe that if I ever did get over to Jacksonville, they would most probably at least organize like a meetup or possibly like a behind the scenes, you know, training session or something like that I have faith I have faith that that will happen if and when I get myself to the States and that's fucking exciting so the Jacksonville Jaguars is always going to be my number one team and um, much love let's go big Leonard peace out everybody wow yeah swear to God I'm with it I don't see nobody in my lane is quite go get it like me wow